Hey folks, it's Matt with Southern Energy Management. I'm out here on site again, and today we want to talk about wall top air sealing. There's a huge opportunity on the wall tops to make your buildings tighter, whether it's for Code Plus programs or whether it's a requirement for something like Energy Star. There's usually about an eighth of an inch gap all the way around once the drywall is installed to that top plate. It leaves a big opportunity anytime we have walls below the attic. The two methods we see the most are using a gasketing foam or using a sill seal type material. So let's take a look at both and some of the pros and cons. Traditional sill seal is probably the most commonly used product for wall top air sealing. It's accessible and it's cheap, but the devil's in the details on the installation. If it's not neat, if it's bumpy, if it's uneven, it's likely gonna get ripped down when the drywall goes up. This is an example of a good quality install. It's nice and flat across the top plate. It's been supported with staples so that it's not droopy or sagging. And most importantly, when we get to the corner, it's been angled tightly so that it's not rounded and there's no gap. This material is actually pretty stiff and it's not flexible when we try to push drywall in to lay flat. Here's another example that's not so great. It starts off okay, but when we get to this point, the gasket starts to overlap. That creates a bump that's gonna be hard for the drywallers to deal with, as well as some risk of snagging. When we get to the corner, we see that it's rounded. This is definitely gonna be ripped down when the drywall goes up because it's not gonna lay flat with this stiff material. When your drywall or sheet good is installed, it needs to lay flat over the top plate gasket in order to form an air seal. If the gasket is wavy or the corners are rounded, when the drywallers lift the sheet into place, it becomes snagged. And when the drywall becomes snagged on the gasket, it comes down. Some of the frequently asked questions we get about the top plate gasket are, does it need to be installed up against the bottom side of the trusses? And the answer is no. The seal is gonna be between the top plate and the drywall. So there's no extra credit for lapping it up onto the horizontal surface above. Another quick tip when you have rounded corners and you wanna make quick corrections, is to slice the, the gasket right here in the corner so that it's able to lay flat. Add a couple staples and you're back in business. A new product on the market in the last few years is a gasket foam that's specifically designed for top plate gaskets. This foam works great when it's installed properly. There are several brands available, but manufacturer's guidance is pretty consistent that you need a half inch bead to form an effective seal between your top plate and your drywall. This is what it should look like when it's cured. About a half inch, nice and even, all the way across the wall top. Over here, we have an example that's not so great. This bead is inconsistent. It's thick in some areas running down the wall and very thin in others, where we know that it's not gonna be able to form an effective seal on your wall top gasket. So remember that a half an inch is really what you need to have consistently to get a good seal on your drywall tops. All right, folks, so remember, there's a huge opportunity to reduce your building air leakage by sealing those wall tops up properly. There's several methods you can use. There's the top plate gasket, as you see here. There's also a foam gasket product, which can be liquid applied. Either way you choose, the devil's in the details. It needs to be neat and it needs to stay there during drywall insulation for it to work. There's a third option too. You can actually lay your drywall into wet caulk, but then you don't have the third party verification from a herge rater that it's been completed. And at final, if we don't pass, sometimes it's too late to correct it. The other thing that's important to remember is that we have to do all of our walls. When we're below attic space, interior walls count too. So we wanna make sure that we do both sides of our interior and exterior walls for the best possible seal. All right, folks, that's it for today. Remember, when you're sealing your wall tops, you've got several choices that will work, but what's important is the quality of install. And remember that when you're talking about air sealing, it's hard to have too much foam. So the top plate gasket is most often ripped down. As the top plate comes down. <laughs>